back, everybody. My next guest tonight starred as George Washington in the original cast of Hamilton. He now stars on CBS's Bull. Please welcome Christopher Jackson. I'm used to seeing you in slightly more formal attire as, as Washington. Do you think Washington would have gone on a talk show not wearing a tie, Christopher Jackson? Maybe a cravat. Did you learn or get anything from George Washington? Because he was a man of great propriety. He was. He yeah. Was. Uh, I, I learned a lot of stuff. I, I, I learned that when he was 14, he wrote, uh, he copied basically uh, uh, the rules of civility. I'm told oh, that's, that, are you serious? Yeah. Did you know that I have that? I, I was told that. that oh, because I've got thing this. Yours. One of my producers yeah. gave this to me, and yeah. this is, sits on the back of my uh, toilet tank in my bathroom. <laughs> it's and I will gold. read the law. These are the laws that these are the rules that George Washington wrote down. Yeah. Shake not your head, feet, or legs. Roll not the eyes. Lift not one eyebrow higher than the other. <laughs> Rye not the mouth, and bedo no man's faith with your face with your spittle by approaching him too near when you speak. This guy had a sure. This guy was really he had a stick up his butt. Is well, what he you had. know, I think he was a bit of a germaphobe. I don't think he liked actually like shaking hands. I mean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of talk, uh, you read a lot of things about him not being uh, the most forthright with with the shaking of the hands. Not the he was like Howie Mandel. He just did this. <laughs> yeah, right. He was just fist bump. George Washington. <laughs> Now, now that you've left it, like, it, that, that's the story of the creation of our country to a certain degree, the, sure. the beginnings of our country, and it's full of towering political figures. In today's political environment, do you, where do you look for, for solace? Because there aren't a lot of towering political figures anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I, watched, I watched a show. You watched this show? Yeah, you Talking know. About a political I, figure. I, right? No, but, but a good influence is a good influence. Um, and then I, I, I... Yeah, right? Right? And, uh... And then I'll, I'll, watch the, I'll watch the news, and then I'll go in my basement and cry. Oh, okay. You know what I like to do? I like to watch the West Wing sometimes. Man. It's politics porn. <laughs> you know, it's none of it's real, but it looks pretty. Oh, man, and it makes you f feel so fulfilled. I always say, I always say that the, w watching the West Wing for me is like listening to my favorite album. You know, you know what's coming. You know what to expect. I've seen the series probably 20 times, every episode all the way through. Mm -hmm. That's the antidote for me when, when you know, every day happens and it's just crazy. Now, now growing <laughs> up, how did, you, how did you start singing? Did you sing in church? I did. I did. Carroll Baptist Church. Okay. I uh, uh, started acting. One of my first shows was actually in this uh, Christmas production uh, called Arch the Angel. And I, I like actually, Christmas pageant? Yeah, yeah. But we did things, you know, sort of a step above what your normal sort of nativity scene. What so do you mean? Who are you? Were you I was Joseph? Arch. No, I was Arch. Oh, you were the Archangel? In Arch, not Ark. Archangel. Arch. Okay. See what we did there? I understand. Rode a skateboard in. That, that, that is, was my entrance. That is dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, <laughs> with, with, no Gabriel Rats. You know, a, a glitter. A, a glitter-covered skateboard, a bomber jacket. Mm -hmm. it was, That's it nice. Was, it was the deal. My first appearance on stage was in a Christmas pageant as well, actually. I was the fourth wise man. Of course you were. <laughs> well, it was late. Our, our, our clocks weren't working, and we got there late, and there were already three kids up on stage. And my I mean, mom said, go up there. And I said, but there's already three. She said, go up there. <laughs> so fourth wise man. So you did. So I've been wrong since the beginning. <laughs> okay, so Bull... Bull is the CBS show with Michael Weatherly. Yes. We all know and love Michael Weatherly. He plays Bull. You play Chunk Palmer, former All-American football player, current fashion-conscious stylist who fine-tunes clients' appearances for trial. You know, a seamless transition from George Washington. Come on! So Come what, what, like, what does that mean? What do you do? What does your character do? So what we do on our show, Dr. Bull has this, this team. Uh, and we're trial consultants, and so uh, a, a client will come in, and they'll need help. And you know, maybe their their you know uh, uh, their teenage son is on trial for a crime he didn't commit. Now we have to present him in a way that makes him look a little bit better and makes him sound a little less teenagey. And is every one of your clients on this show innocent, or are you getting guilty people off? I hope they're all innocent. But I just don't know. I just dress them. I just dress him. Does Bull know? Of course he does. So you don't know 
Bull just tells you to help this person, even if he knows they're a murderer. Oh, we're not, we're not comfortable with moral ambiguity in our world today? <laughs> I'm just wanting to know who I was supposed to I'm cheer for. I'm just saying, for. I didn't build this world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just live in it, brother. <laughs> but here's the thing. You are a fantastic singer. You've got a long Broadway career. 20 years since you joined the cast of uh, The Lion King, right? Yeah. You the original yeah, cast Yeah, we just of celebrated the, the 20th King. anniversary That's extraordinary. Yeah. You've been amazing. Yeah. You've been involved with some of the greatest shows of my lifetime on Broadway. It seems like a shame that someone of your talent never gets to sing on that show. Is there any chance that there could be a Bull the Musical? Well, in my downtime... I've been working on something. We've been developing something in CBS, and I think... Uh, oh, right, and think, you and I, I rehearsed it. Yeah, I think oh, that's right. see it. Are you ready to do it now? I think so. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present the premiere of Bull, the musical. <laughs> in this crazy, mixed-up world of legal sound and fury, a man will rise. He's not just the judge. Instead, he works the jury. You can't believe the courtroom tricks he'll pull. Mm, I'm proud to call him leader friend. That amazing man named Bull. My character, Chunk Palmer, helps him out with grace and skill. And did you know that Bull is based on a young Dr. Phil? Now the show's a massive hit, both national and regional, because it's a fun new twist on the classic legal procedural. He's a lawyer named Bull. Wait, let's be clear. He's not a lawyer technically. He's still named Bull. But he'll get you off both legally and sexually. He's the world's most exultant jury consultant. It's just a shame he doesn't have a first name. It's Jason, actually. Oh, okay. Jason Bull will make you confess Tuesdays at 9 Or watch it online Only CBS Bull airs Tuesdays at 9 on CBS Christopher Jackson, everybody We'll be right back with a performance by Bleachers Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.